Okay, so let's start this tutorial. Well, let me make it be known. This tutorial here is just strictly for setting up the college hoops recruiting tool. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. But if you want walkthroughs and tutorials for like, okay, I'm at this point in my league. What do I do now? Or it's the off season. What do I do now? What do I do with the draft? Those type of things will be in separate videos. I'm going to do. I'm going to try my. I don't even want to say I'm, I want, I'm going to try those videos will be coming. OK, for now, let's just stick with the setup. Let's get into it. All right. So down in the description of this video, go down there. There's going to be a link. I'm typing that link into my browser now. Press enter. It's going to take you to a shared folder. OK, so what you want to do when you get to that shared folder is highlight all of the files right click one of them and click make a copy do not click add to my drive if you click add to my drive you will not be able to edit some of the stuff that you need to click make a copy bottom left hand corner of the screen you'll see it saying copying four files And basically what uh, Google Drive is doing is there it is. It's copied four files into your specific drive that you will now have ownership of. OK, so let's go over to let's click on my drive. We'll select all of these again. Um, actually, I'm going to drag them into a folder here that I've created in in this separate e Google account. So I'll drag them over there. They've all got a specific folder for me. So you should create a specific folder for yourself. You can just right click new folder. All right. So all right. So now I have them in a folder. The very first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of where it says copy of copy of copy of but I'm not going to do that in this video, but uh, just for, I don't know. I, I'm really, I really don't like when it has copy in the title, but anyway, so we're going to double click here. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on responses. We're going to click those three dots. and select response destination and the destination of the responses should be the spreadsheet that was there so we're going to click select existing spreadsheet and it'll be this one here with that picture of the players so I'll double click that all right it's linked so as you can see i have two tabs up so i'm going to go back to that first tab i'm actually going to open up that spreadsheet and the first thing it takes me to is the sheet that it has now linked to this so when i clicked when i clicked uh to select response destination all the responses for this form will now go on this sheet. So what we want to do is this very first sheet, we want to rename it. And we just simply want to rename it to capital S, capital C, capital H. Press enter. And then we want to move it behind the sheet. That's called one school setup info. OK, we move it right behind that. And then we're going to click on that one school setup info. We're going to come to the very first cell where to have it'll say like ref. So we'll double click that and then press enter. And that is now updated. What it is going to do is is going to display everything from this sheet here. And but 
it won't it'll allow you to uh it'll allow the formulas that are contained with this in in this entire tool to um, actually calculate your progress for recruiting and selecting your schools and all of that good stuff but anyway let's move on okay so we'll go we'll go back here and we'll close this up we don't need that anymore we'll keep our spreadsheet up the next thing we're going to do we're going to move over to the second google form which is the one that's in gray double click it we're going to do the exact same thing we just did go to responses click on the three dots select a response destination select an existing spreadsheet then click select again we're going to tie it to that same spreadsheet with the pictures all right it says spreadsheet linked in the bottom left hand corner so now i'm going to go back to the spreadsheet and as you can see on the far left it has a new form that says form responses so i'm going to rename that and this time i'm going to name it capital p r p enter and it's really important that you rename these to exactly what i'm telling you all right so now i'm going to move this all the way over between I moved it to the end. Let me move it. Oh, oh man, if I could just get it. I can't get it where I want it. I'm sorry, guys. This is taking way longer than it should for some reason. All right. I got it between the two and the three because that's where it, that's where it needs to be. Um, Honestly, it could be anywhere. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to keep it between the two and the three because the sheet corresponds with the sheet name to prospect selection info. Click on that at the top where it says ref again, double click there, press enter. You'll see a, a bunch of stuff come up. That's good. That means we've done everything right so far all right so now let's go back over to our other tab that had the gray in the background we'll close that out and we'll go back to our google drive the last google form that kind of had it has this pinkish background we'll double click that open it up and again we're going to link it to the spreadsheet so go to responses the three dots select select response destination select existing spreadsheet then click select then select that spreadsheet again with the pictures and everything all right so now we can go back to the spreadsheet go back all the way to the far left at the bottom where it says form responses right click and again we're going to rename this time we are renaming this to capital r e c pressing enter and we're just going to move this form all the way to the very end okay and so let's move one sheet in front of this one which is this sheet is going to be called three recruiting sessions click that it has it says ref at the top let's double click press enter all right and now we can close out this google form we can close that out and now for this spreadsheet we can just go all the way back to the very first sheet which is called recruit central as you can see here i've I've allowed you guys to copy over the four photos I have created, but what it's meant to do is for you to replace these with the prospects in your high school draft class or, or high school recruiting class. You would replace them with the actual picture of the prospect that you're trying to get. It's just a, something to help you remember who you're recruiting. 
if you have a real life high school class that you're trying to recruit, then you could use real life pictures like these. All right. So now that everything is set up, we're going to do a really, really quick test run so that you, you guys can get to witness, you know, things update here. Okay. So let's say you're playing a game, you're in my league and you have a school that you're playing as. So the first thing you're going to do is click on this blue, uh, this blue thing. And this is where you select your school. So what you have to do is when you double click that, you just come over to this eye icon towards the right side of the top. All right. Then it allows you to start picking your program. All right. So we're just going to do a quick run through. I'm just going to pick any school. We'll choose Arizona. Click next. Pick our system. You need to look in game to see what system you're running. Uh, this is just for a little bit of added depth. Uh, we'll say we are perimeter centric. Let's say that. So uh, we favor guards more. And then the position that we need, you would have to look through your roster. We'll just say forward. What's our team goal? We want to, well, let's just say, make the tournament this year. All right. Um, I actually need to get rid of this stuff here. This may not be in the one in the form that you guys copy over. But anyway, uh, this portion here where you see your responses might be available, but we'll see. But anyway, so once you've selected your school and everything, you can just click X. You can definitely click out of that. And as you can see on your spreadsheet, it updates. It tells you the name of your school right there, Arizona. So the next thing we want to do is, you know, let let the spreadsheet know who our prospects are. So after we look through our draft class of high school players, what we'll do is we'll come here and we'll enter that information. So I double clicked on the gray one, double click on the gray one, go to preview. And I, I suggest not messing with anything um, here in the form for right now. You don't want to mess up anything about I can try to touch on stuff that you can update in later videos if you guys would like. All right, so go to preview at the top towards the right, click on that. And then this is where you will start entering, you know, your prospects names. So just for, you know, the sake of doing this pretty easily, let's type in LaMelo Ball because he's pretty popular and he's somebody I can easily remember, LaMelo Ball. All right, click next. All right, you want to enter the overall rating of this recruit. So you want to enter the rating that that recruit has in the actual draft class. So you will need to view the draft class outside of my league to know what his rating is. Okay, let's just whatever. Let's just make up a rating for him. Let's say somebody has him listed as a 78 and then whoever the uh, thing whoever the top recruit is in this high school draft class, quote unquote, um, maybe they have them listed as an 86. So we'll put that, we'll click next. Then you will need to look through the player's rating vitals to see what his play for winner rating is and his other ratings for now, we'll just throw in some stuff. Hold on one second, guys. Got to answer my door. No, all right. All right. Sorry, guys. Had to answer the door. We'll just throw, throw in a rating here. Try not to make the ratings the same or I go. I'll go over that stuff in another video. If they are the same, just enter it how it is in the game. All right, and then you'll choose their preferred college, whatever the college is list in game under the college portion. Just put that. So let's just say California, click next. He got him as a guard, click next. All right, go back to the spreadsheet. It should update soon. There it is. 
So he's going to be a five star. His high school rating is going to be 91. Has his name. Again, you can replace this picture. And you can just continue on from there. Really quick, I'll show you guys the very last sheet because there is something that you can change around. So this sheet is when you want to like actually have recruiting sessions and talk to the recruit. Uh, the area that you can change is this. So if you want to type in a recruit's name every time you have a recruiting session with them or a visit or a phone call with them, if you want to type in their name every time, then you can leave it like this. If you don't want to type in their name every time and you just want to select from a list, what you could do is so just click down here where it says select recruit. And let's see, actually click down here where it says type recruits name and change it from short answer to drop down and then just enter the recruits name and it'll come up in a drop down every time. So I'm going to put Lamello Ball and spell it exactly how you spelled it before. OK. It needs to be exactly the same. All right. So I'll leave that there. And it this sheet, this thing, this Google Forms automatically saves by itself. So you don't need to try to save it or anything. At the top, at the at the right, uh, you can go to preview and start recruiting. So when you go to preview, so, it lets you just start recruiting and see, I would select Lamella Ball. If I had more prospects that I was recruiting, then I could select them also. Um, but for now, I'm, I want to keep this video a little shorter. I don't want to make it a 30 minute video. So I want to show you one more thing. Let me close some of this stuff up. Now that we've closed up those windows, we are at a point where if you want to preview the recruiting section, like I just showed you, you can. And once you have a couple of prospects up here, it'll start telling you things about them. It says thoughts, slightly interested. You can go to the dashboard, get more info. You can see LaMelo Ball is really interested in coming to my school. Wow. So there we go. I got a leg up on the competition. If you keep sheet one, you can see the other school I'm competing against is California and he much prefer, well, not much prefer, but he'd like to slightly, well, he'd like to come to my school slightly more. So for now, this is all I have for you guys as far as setting this up. I hope it wasn't too much. Um, till next time, I am out.